All righty, ladies and gentlemen, our film session continues. Our film session series of NFL player comps for recent Georgia commits and signees continues tonight with Kendall Milton and his comparison of Le'Veon Bell. Obviously, you see the physical measurables are very, very similar. Uh, Kendall just slightly bigger and slightly faster, uh, just 18 and like two days old at this point. So uh, gained a little bit of weight already at the University of Georgia. Um, but it's more than a height, weight, speed thing here tonight, as most and all of our player comps were. The Jermaine Burton um, to Devontae Adams wasn't simply a physical tra traits or uh, physical attributes comparison. None of these will be. Uh, it's most importantly body movements, body patterns, what they do on the football field, how they style their game, uh, what kind of football brand they play on the field. But before we get into tonight's film session, you guys know what I have to do. Uh, if you enjoy what we do tonight, if you enjoy what we do today, uh, wherever you're watching, however you're watching, whenever you're watching, uh, give us that thumbs up, man. Most importantly, as always, uh, as I always say on these YouTube sessions, I hope you guys learned something about the game of football today. Uh, and if you do, Give us a thumbs up, give us a like, give us a, a subscribe, um, and of course visit the Bulldog Maven, bulldogmaven.com, where we will pair an article with this as well. We appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, follow me on Twitter for more of this great stuff at Brooks Austin SI, and we will catch you on the back end. All right, so what I think makes this comparison so great is, and what makes these backs, for that matter, so great is their ability to help their offense win to put their offense in winnable positions when other people, their teammates, are getting beat, okay? So the center here is going to get blown off the ball, and you're just going to see death by a thousand jump cuts right here from Kendall Milton, and we'll show a very similar thing. It's the patience initially, and then the jump cuts, and the immediate burst, right? Patience to burst is all, uh, is 100% what this comparison is about. So let's look at it right here, and you're going to see the center is going to get blown off at the point of attack, and then boom, boom, jump cut, jump cut, Jump cut, carrying bodies the whole way for, you know, a 15-yard gain. And look, we're eight minutes, seven minutes into this highlight film, and it was nothing but touchdowns for the most part. But this is what I – and I, this is the comparison, and you'll see it next clip because we get an all-22. It looks a lot cleaner. But the patience, right? Push it and then win when everyone else is losing, essentially. Uh, that's all him right there. That's all number two right here in the backfield. Watch one more time from the top. Center's getting beat. Jump cut one, jump cut two, jump cut three, and we're just constantly moving down the field, getting yardage, chewing up the field. All right, so you're going to see the jump cut, and we're going to get a really good look at it from the tight from behind. You're going to see the jump cut, the patience, the quick burst, all of it right here on display from Lev Bell in 2017 right here in Pittsburgh going against the GOAT on defense, right? The best defensive mind the football has seen in a long time in Bill Belichick, and Belichick's forced throughout this football game to make checks. You see they're in an even front now. We might show you a little later. They jumped to odd front real, real quick into the bear. But there you see the jump cut. Let's watch it from the tight. That's where we really see the patience and the vision, right? What we're seeing from Kendall as well. Take a look at this, okay? The guard's going to come off late. Let's, let's, let's talk a little football here for a second. That's what we're here for, right? Let's talk a little second. All right, Mike Pouncey or Mark, Marquise, one of these, I think it's Mike. Mike's got this guy as the point, a.k.a. the Mike. Mike's got the Mike, okay? These two are supposed to be working here. Center and right guard is supposed to take the down line and the three technique right here and go to him. This backside guard and backside tackle have a combo, backside combo block on this route to this linebacker. What you're going to see is 73 is really, really late getting off as this linebacker flashes into A-gap, but it's okay because – Kendall, or Lev in this situation, is going to make this guy right. Okay, He's going to boom, jump cut him right there, and then immediately get his eyes back into the where the mesh point was on this football play. Let's watch it in slow-mo right quick. Okay, Watch him jump cut and set this defender up again. This guard late getting off, right? Doesn't matter. Boom, jump cut, set right back down in the hole. Patience, get back to the point over here, and then let's go put a hat on somebody and finish physical, right? That's what we're going to see all, all night on this film session from Kendall as well. Physicality at the end of the run. Now, he can make you miss, but he's a big back. He's also going to make you want to pay as well. Let's watch it one more time for the tight in slow-mo here. Uh, actually, let's speed it up and go full speed. You already saw it slow-mo. Watch, watch him find it after the jump cut and settle in. Boom. Whap. And get physical yardage.
it's just got to be such a safety net as an offensive coordinator to know that even if there's, you know, eight or nine guys in the box, hell, if there's 11 guys in the box, you know you can hand the ball off to your running back uh, and know he's going to get positive yardage because even if he's met, you know, in the hole or behind the line of scrimmage, he's going to shake somebody and, and, and make a positive play. Look, this play should be dead at minus two, and Kendall turns it, drags it, drags it into a plus 20. And it's the same thing. It's death by de uh, jump cuts, right? One, two, shimmy, shimmy. Give it to you. You know, dragging the jersey. Physicality at the end of the run. I mean, it's it's all over the place. And it screams Levy and Bell in his prime at Pittsburgh. Just a little bigger and even a little faster. Kendall running a four five nine. We will address the speed concerns in a tad bit. Wow. All right, we'll save some time here. Go straight to the tight cut. Uh, you're going to see Villanueva get beat right here at the left tackle position. But again, it doesn't matter. Safety net as an offensive coordinator, you know that you got an elusive back in the backfield that can make these kinds of plays. Jump cut in the hole right there, and then boom, bounce right back out. Avoid all the wash at your feet, and then watch him finish the run physically at the end. I think we're having more technical difficulties. Give me a second. And we back, Jack. Take a look. It's the jump cut in the hole. We're going to slow it down one more time, and then we'll show you the, the fast speed. Watch the jump cut. Watch him make this defensive end miss. He doesn't have a chance. He thinks he's got a chance. Whoop. And look where he lands. Look how small the space is. And then he immediately gets his feet back right, gets vertical, presses the hole. And, again, watch the finish. Boom. Finishing strong and, you know, finishing downhill. Always moving forward, right, both these backs. That's what you got to love about him. And, again, Offensive coordinators, offensive linemen in particular. I know when I get my grade sheet as this left tackle, I know it's going to say minus one. I know it's going to say assignment, yes, uh, execution, no. But I also know that it's going to say plus 11 or plus seven, excuse me, on the yardage sheet as well because of the back and only because of the back. All right, so we're talking big backs tonight, right? We're talking guys who are going to push 230 pounds uh, in Lev's case, I think he's even like 235 pounds now in the New York Jets. But, you know, Kendall came in anywhere from 215 to 217 pounds. Now he's anywhere from 220 or 226 to pushing 230 already within a month there at the University of Georgia. So he's put on some weight already. Uh, but they got amazing short area quickness and short area burst. Uh, and you're going to see it right here on display from Kendall. And we'll show you a very similar play from Levy and Bell. But take a look right here, okay? So there's a cluster right here, okay? But he's going to bounce out. You already saw it. But watch how physically he finishes the run, right? Big backs with burst is what we're talking tonight. The physicality at the end of it, the quickness and the agility and the athleticism, for that matter, at 230 pounds to do this kind of stuff right here. Look, the California newspaper that announced him the state running back player of the year said exactly this. You don't get too many high school football players or football players for that matter in general that are this big and can move like this. You know, he's six one and a half, almost six two, and you know, can flat out move and finish with power. Same play basically right here from Lev and the Steelers. You're gonna see him get stuffed at the point of attack. He's gonna stay on his feet and then bounce all the way back around trying to catch the pylon. Now he doesn't score here. But you're going to see the same type of short area quickness. He doesn't look as lightning fast because he's on the NFL field. But look at the physicality that he's finishing the run with, right? Just like we just saw with Kendall over there from Clovis. And it looks like we're having technical difficulties, so I'm going to stop for a second. All right, where were we? I believe we were talking about the physicality that both of these guys finish this run with. You see the short area quickness. We're talking about how Lev's not obviously looking as quick twitchy here in this NFL football field because there's a lot of fast guys around him. But watch the end of this play. I'm going to slow it down for you. He's going to give, I believe it's Jason McCourty right here, a wicked stiff arm, right? He's going to throw him up out the club. This DB thinks he's about to give him a shot. Linebacker in here coming in, giving him everything he's got. Guess who's the only one left on their feet at the end of this football play? Number 26. The, guy, the biggest guy, the strongest guy on the field, right? Well, he's not the biggest, but he's certainly one of the stronger ones on the field. Watch him full speed one more time. Watch him finish with physicality. All the short area quickness right there, just like we showed you with Kendall. And then the finish, just like we showed you with Kendall. I would be flat out not doing my job. I would be failing my job tonight if I had any Bill Belichick defensive tape on the on the film. 
and not give you some type of lesson or, you know, a lesson I learned while watching it. So early in the game, showing man coverage, right? Looks just like man. Everybody walked up. Boom. He looks like he's locked up. Safety's indicating too deep, right? They're split. You know, strong safety playing a little bit further down in the box, but that's typical safety alignment, right? Two linebackers in the box. Now, what you're going to see is that's all fine and dandy pre-snap, but watch what happens post-snap. This is why this is what makes Belichick so great. Now, B Roethlisberger wins this rep technically, but look. All right, boom. Corner bails, doesn't run with the slant. Corner up here is bailing hard. Safety right here is rolling down in the box. And look what they did with the defensive end. They opened the defensive end up and told him to reroute number one while trying to run with the back out of the backfield. That is absolutely bonkers. I mean, this is like teaching calculus milk mixed with chemistry. Reroute from the – they send three on the pressure, right? It's first and ten, middle of the first quarter. And, again, Ben wins the rep here checking down to Lev. But just crazy defensive stuff. This kind of stuff would typically lead to a pick if you don't have a good quarterback back there running the show. Um, but, again, watch it in slow-mo right here. Everything looks like man-to-man -man coverage. Early indications are man-to-man -man coverage. Corner bails at the bottom of the screen. Ben's figured it out now. Get to my check down, which is Lev Bell out of the backfield. Lev does a good job getting his head around first down. All right, we're going to start this clip here with Lev Bell and then move to Kendall, showing you him doing the same exact body type and body movement. But to me, this is what makes my player comps a little bit different. It's not just height, weight, speed, and playing styles or running abilities or anything like that. It's their body movements, right? Their body patterns, what they're doing on the football field, and what their similarities are. And this is what I call squaring up, right, on inside zone. This is one thing Lev does better than almost any running back or when he did, he did when he was in his prime. All right, take a look at this. So – He's, in a second, going to square this foot up right there. All right, so originally, Pouncey had center-lined this linebacker. And what most running backs will do as soon as they get this ball, they'll press the point of the attack really, really hard. They'll think this channel is their opportunity for a one-on-one -on, -one on Daniel Sorensen flying down here, who at pre-snap was already rolled down to eight yards, okay, because it's the first play of the football game, and Lev Bell's getting the rock. They know it. It's like you know a pitcher's going to throw a 99-mile-an-hour fastball. You might as well get prepared for it. So I call this squaring up, right? Finding the opportunity to get to where he's going to jump cut and inevitably go, and you'll see him. Boom. There's the jump cut, and now he's going to get north and south for positive yards. Look, this is why when you watch Le'Veon Bell play on Sundays or when you did when he was with Pittsburgh, you'd see him and, and you watch him play and it's like, you know, he never really rips off 45, 60 yarders, though he can. What he does is he it's death by a thousand cuts. It's six, seven, eight, 12, 15 yard gains. And the next thing you know, you look down and Lev's had 15 touches for 110 yards. Look at it in full speed right here. I love this squaring up action, and it's something that you can tell Kendall's watched this as well, um, or at least admiring it from a distance. Take a look at it right here. I'll slow it down one more time. Squaring up right there. Got to love it. It's a new style of running, man. Most guys are taught to, you know, one cut, don't mess around back there, hit the hole and go. This is totally different. This has revolutionized, you know, how some running backs run the football. All right, here you're going to see this gather step. Or square up or face up, whatever it is. I got it, I got it written in my notes a whole bunch of times. Uh, but, you know, you could call it a gather step right here on this inside zone, right? Boom, there. He, he's squaring up right here, and he's inevitably, I'm pretty sure, going to jump out to this hole and then probably crib this football after he sets up that other blocker. And then, how about that? How about that 4 5 9 speed everybody's got questions about? Again, I know this is high school football, but you tell me this sucker right here? Well, hold on. This, this right here is, again, Lev all, all over it. The square up, the jump cut, and then the setup of this blocker. He presses him when he doesn't really have to just so his guy can get back and make sure this isn't a block in the back. And then, boom, that guy had the angle. He's gone. See you. And, again, new updated 40, guys. Update that 40, whoever your recruiting services is. This guy runs a 4.59 legit at the opening. All right? That square up, though, that's what this, comp, this, this clip right here is for. This right here. Boom. I'm trying to square my, my uh, shoulders to the line of scrimmage and allow my lineman to get upfield and then make my cut. And then crib that thing. Boy, I'm going to tell you what. If they had a class, an instructional class on how to run outside zone perfect, perfectly as a, you know, not a 4-3-8 running back, 
This is exactly how you do it. And this is how I would even want my 4-3-8 running back to do it because not all these guys are great, right? Look at him gear down, all right? And then you can tell where he's punching it right now. Punches it, shoulders down, forward lean, nobody's tackling me, arm tackles are nothing, and I'm diving for the pylon. But again, patience to burst is what we call this. Stretch the hole. Make these guys suck up. Make these defenders suck up. Make them think you're cutting back north. But in reality, we're running outside zone. We know that. Look, everybody's taking outside zone steps. Everybody's trying to reach their man. Help them reach their man. Push the block forward. Slow it down. Gear it down. Bring these defenders this way. That way you can help them seal their own blocks and you can outrun everybody else. I mean, it's just it's stuff that normal high schoolers don't have. Let's show it from Lev just here in a second. Almost an identical play here. Even got the tight end over here. First of all, we're going to take the first 30 seconds of this, this clip here to watch Pouncey right here because this is flat out incredible. Don't even watch 26. Keep your eyes on 53 right here. Everybody's watching 53 on this rep, okay? Take a look at this. Snap, pull. I mean, block one with a shoulder. Keep fighting for number two all the way 15 yards downfield. We're midway through the third quarter of this football game. Uh, hold on. Let's go back. Where are we at? Give me a second. We got to go back right here. All right. Anyways, patience to burst, right? We just talked about it with Kendall. Let's watch it a little bit from the tight here. You're going to see it from, from Lev as well. We told you to watch Pouncey on one play. Now let's give love to the back. Watch the back from Lev or watch the patience. You know, he's not at, at any point is he running full speed right here. He is gearing down to let his guys get out on the edge and pick up some blocks. And then he's going to sneak through the tiniest of creases and get upfield and show the burst at the end of this play as well. Okay, let's start it from the top. Now watch 26, full speed. Patience to burst on outside zone right here. This is good stuff. Got to find the alleyway, right? This is, this is Green Bay Packers sweep back in the day. Pull two guards, pull a center, pull a guard, just with di different fancy and different drawings, right? Different dressings, if you will. This is Packer Sweet, baby. This has been in the playbook since Super Bowl One. But Brooks, prime Lev Bell was one of the best, if not the best, actually the best ball catching running back in the league. Well, you know, Kendall can do this kind of stuff too. He was asked to mainly tote the rock in high school. Um, but, you know, they drew up a couple plays like this right here. My man can catch the football as well, and once he does, he's just as dangerous, if not more, because he's automatically matched up against DBs that have no business playing against the young man. Look at this. That is that is nuts. We're going to show you the same route right here. This is just D or running backs finding the open space in between the play side tackle and the play side guard in between the shade technique and the five technique, and then just running the out route, right? Get up to the sticks or get up to the first down, the bottom of the sticks, get flat, and we'll hit you in the flat. But what you see is he takes contact immediately at the legs and then stutter steps a guy and then drags three more. And Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look what he did to this guy at the end. This guy at the end has – where's he at? I don't know if it's this guy or this guy. Somebody's about to get a shoulder. This guy right here. This guy's about to get a shoulder and get flat out bodied and end up on his back right here at this sideline. Watch this. Wow. Get out of here, son. All right, you're going to see the same thing here. Le'Veon Bell is just going to insert, run the out route, and watch him finish with physicality as well. Makes a guy miss, just like Kendall, and then boom, gets downhill, right? That's what it's all about. I, that's not a fumble, by the way. They called this down. But there you see the out route, getting out in space just like Kendall, and then finishing strong. You know, it's. I think a lot of it was about opportunity. Ben was in a check down mode for a couple of years, despite, you know, having some serious weapons out here on the edge. And this guy can really do special things once he catches the football. But I, I have no doubts about whether or not Kendall's going to be able to catch the football and do this kind of stuff. This is simple. This is just him finding the space in the void in between the two linemen and then running the out. Any, any decent running back can do this. What they do after the catch is impressive. And I think both of them have, you know, he even gave a little a shimmy, a little semi uh, jump cut here. Let's see if we can watch it from the tight. At the end, the jump cuts from both of these guys are flat-out dynamic. It's, it's their go-to move. Just like DeAndre Swift's got his dead leg, these two guys got jump cuts, and they're great at it. 
look, all that is just a little out route, just like we saw Kendall run. Boom, that guy gets a stick, and then just getting north and south. Not a fumble. All right, folks, that's our film session for tonight. We'll keep it tight here on the back end. Uh, no need to beg you for your support. Hopefully, you've already done it. If you haven't, give us a thumbs up. Uh, check us out, BulldogMaven.com. We will continue our NFL player comps uh, You know, moving forward. I don't know if we're going to do D Jalen Carter, Broderick Jones, Tate Ratledge. We'll do whoever gives me a first uh, comment. If you've listened this late, if you give me a comment, first one to say either of those three names, Tate Ratledge, Broderick Jones, or Jalen Carter, I will hop on that immediately, or Keely Ringo. I already got Keely Ringo's player comp, so that might be who I'm doing. But if you get in that comment before I make my decision, we will do yours, and we will do it first. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and most importantly, as always, hope you learned something about the intricate game of football. Uh, you guys go out today, man, and be a winner. Go kick today's ass. We'll see you next time.